Okay, hi there. Uh, this is a quick video looking at the surge in inflation in the UK economy. Uh, year 12, year 13, IB, A-level uh, economists need to be right on top of this big issue, particularly as exams approach. So what is inflation? Best defined, I think, as a sustained increase in the general price level for goods and services and uh, the annual rate of inflation, the percentage inflation rate is measured by the percentage change in the consumer price index. So what is happening to inflation in the UK right now? Well, this data published by the ONS and published in the Financial Times shows that the rate of inflation is now 4.2%. It's jumped more than expected and it's now at its highest level in almost a decade. Inflation is in fact more than double the, the official inflation target of 2%, and this is increasing pressure on the Bank of England, the UK's central bank, to start increasing monetary policy interest rates. So what is the Bank of England's most recent forecast? Well, there's, here is their famous fan chart published in the quarterly inflation report, and you can see that they were forecasting a rise in inflation in the second half of 2021, uh, but they think that the inflation will fall back in the next year or so, back towards target. Although it seems to be the case that uh, the Bank of England's claims that inflation, uh, the rise in inflation is transitory, is now under severe threat, a severe test for the central bank. So why is inflation in the UK rising so quickly at the moment? Inflation, don't forget, was 4.2% last month, and that was up from 3.1% in September of 2021. It's the highest rate of inflation since November 2011. Some of the causes are domestic. So, for example, energy bills have been rising. The price of gas has risen by 17%, and the price of electricity has risen by 8%. Uh, because Ofgem, the industry regulator, increased the price cap for energy. And it'll do that again in April 2022. So millions of households will face uh, quite a severe jump in their energy bill. The price of petrol has been increasing. It increased, I think, uh, something like 24, 25p a litre compared with a year ago. Wages are rising in the, in the UK labour market particularly as uh, employers respond to the challenge of persistent labour shortages. And many sectors are struggling to find the workers they need. I was reading just today that many restaurants close on Mondays because of a shortage of staff. And then, of course, there are global factors. The high cost of shipping, the, the high price of, of gas in the European energy markets. Uh, the UK, of course, is an open economy. It can't be immune to what is happening to inflationary pressure in other parts of the world economy, particularly as the price of imports start to go up. So the rise in inflation is both a combination of domestic and global factors. Now, to what extent is this increase in inflation bad news for the economy? Well, there are some economic costs of high inflation. Uh, you may well have covered these in your, in your course so far. One key aspect is that for millions of people in work, their wages in nominal terms or money terms, they will have to rise quite quickly to avoid a fall in real household living standards. Uh, this is in particular because of taxation going up as well as prices. The Institute for Fiscal Studies reckons that the average household might have to have a pay rise of near 7% next year to cope with a combination of higher prices and higher taxes. And if real incomes go down, there's less money for people to spend and that can depress aggregate demand. Second potential risk is that if interest rates go up, mortgage uh, costs will rise for millions of homeowners and businesses may face an increase in the cost of their loans. Those people on relatively fixed incomes may see a fall in their real purchasing power and millions of savers will see the real value of their savings diminish especially if the rate of interest on savings is well below the rate of consumer price inflation. And there's also something called fiscal drag. This is where tax bans tend to stay the same. Uh, for example, the tax ban uh, where, you, where you pay 20% tax or 40% tax. And as people's wages go up, uh, they get dragged into paying higher taxes, both income tax and national insurance. So there's a big risk next year of fiscal drag. Good news for the government, they'll get more in tax revenues. Well, will the Bank of England start raising interest rates to control inflation? What do we think? Will the central bank decide that this is the moment to start raising interest rates? 
Certainly many investors and home buyers are expecting interest rates to rise in the near future. One sign of that is that the pound against the dollar and the euro appreciated on news of higher inflation. Again, the financial markets anticipating a possible interest rate increase, uh, perhaps leading to an inflow of hot money into the UK economy. There is certainly pressure to start raising monetary policy interest rates from their current very low level of 0.1%. Unemployment is now at 4.3%. It's back uh, below the level it was at before the pandemic. Aggregate demand is picking up quite strongly. Yes, the Bank of England thinks that the surge in inflation is likely to be transitory or relatively temporary. But in other countries, New Zealand, Australia, United States, central banks are starting to tighten monetary policy where there's a series of small rate increases, interest rate rises. And I think the Bank of England, the pressure on the Bank of England is if inflation starts to become sticky at 3, 4, 5% and employers use price rises, which they're seeing, experiencing, to bid for higher pay rises, which in turn can add to cost push inflation. So the pressure on the Bank of England to raise interest rates will be even stronger if a wage price spiral starts to develop. And we have a separate video on the Tutor to You channel about the wage price spiral. So this surge in inflation is one of the big stories in economics at the moment. I strongly urge all A-level IB and other economists to keep on top of this. Do keep track of what's happening to inflation and what the response of government and central banks is. Huge thanks for joining me on this particular video.